What if every enemy in Risk of Rain 2 was elite? This is essentially Bernie Sanders' biggest nightmare. Everybody is in the 1% now, except me. Need I say more? Shall we? Cheers, my friends. So there's really not that many survivors that can deal enough damage. The main hurdle with this challenge is the health multipliers on all of the enemies. So for attempt one, I chose Bandit, because he has some of the highest damage in the game. His primary and secondaries are okay, but what really allows this run to be possible is double damage when attacking from behind and Desperado. Every time you kill an enemy with this attack, it increases Desperado's damage by 10%. This scales incredibly well and basically meant I had a way to deal damage no matter how bad my loot was, which ended up being the case. Well, it wasn't that bad. I managed to get a watch, a crowbar, and a shape glass stage one. Those helped me out quite a bit, but I would need a lot more damage items throughout the run. I did find a clover on stage two, but in a cruel twist of fate, the game decided not to give me a single item that worked with it. So this was essentially just a paperweight in my inventory. Unfortunately, I died on stage three because of blind pests. Need I say more? For this attempt, I picked Loader, and died on stage 1. I don't want to talk about it ever again, so definitely don't leave a comment saying Poopy Man can't play games good no more. Attempt 3, oh, the, oh this was a great attempt. I went back to Bandit and I, uh, I, I died on stage 1 again. For attempt 4, I made it a little bit further, I got to stage 2 and found Brain Stocks, easily one of the best items for this challenge since every kill resets my cooldowns. This made it a lot easier to stack Desperado and gave me more uptime on my smoke bomb. Then I got killed by this pest acting like it's goddamn CSGO, pre-firing around corners and shit. Blind my ass. Again, I don't want to talk about it. This one was very painful. Attempt 5 was very promising. I got an early crowbar printer, one of the strongest items on Bandit. I also found Lost Seer's Lenses, a very important item since it let me delete any non-boss enemy no matter how much health it had. Things were going very well, and then I got a gut event. Now, as much as I like this enemy, in large groups, they can be incredibly suffocating. I had a really hard time charging the teleporter, and eventually they chipped away at me enough to kill me. So at this point, I changed tactics and switched to accurate. Reason being, poison is OP and will kill enemies at pretty much any point in the run. And well, I'll just let this run speak for itself. Enjoy. It might just take a while. The damage isn't really going to be an issue, especially not with Mithrix. It's based on, like, their health, so... It's gonna be pretty, pretty good. Nice. What do we get? Give me a guillotine. No. Damn it. If you can get speed to live on Cap, he's gonna win. I don't know. Cap is problematic too because he doesn't have a mobility skill. I'm avoiding a lot of damage just by the sheer fact I have mobility. Captain struggles quite a bit. Dude, where was this in our bandit run? We needed that. That's decent, I guess. Q would be nice, and then I could like group them all together. It'd be a pretty decent equipment to find. Well, oh, that was a great epidemic. Poisoned so much with that. Ooh, hell yeah! I was just talking about this. Part of the cards. Stop. Come over here. Yeah, now I just need a little bit of AoE, and I can really profit from that. I guess it does kind of suck if I kill a Mending, everything gets healed. Risk of Rain 2 secretly listens to your voice and will grant you one item you talk about per run. I have no evidence, but it's clearly true. Oh my god, you're right. I mean, you have some pretty strong anecdotal evidence there. I mean, it just happened. Like, need I say more? It's clearly a mechanic. I feel like the opposite happens a lot of the time. You say you need something, it all but guarantees it will not show up. Ugh. Mending is fine, I guess. But Dune Striders as a whole are kind of a problem. So I think I'll just try to focus on charging. It's kind of in a weird spot. Is that a Mending Dune Strider? Yeah, that's actually not the problematic one, though. The Mendings are actually good because they can't heal themselves, nor can they be healed by other Mendings. It's the Ice one that's more of a problem. Holy shit. Dude, that's sick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, we we just charged the teleporter. Oh, I have a Dio. I'm fine. I'm fine. It sucks to use it. I greeted that. I could have avoided that so easily. I love it when that happens. When you forget you have a Dio. And you're like, oh shit. And you frantically go back to the keyboard. Die, please. Please die. Yes. Nice. Okay. We still need to kill you though. 
There we go. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, I'll take that. Hopefully that doesn't take it too far. It might. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Eh. Just kind of cheat. Now, I, I still think that's probably not going to be enough. Nice. Holy shit. Oh, oh, band printer. Thank God for this regen scrap. That's powerful. There's hope. We got our thing back, which honestly, uh, I guess I have to keep the capacitor, but that's kind of cool because I can group them up and then I can use the AOE from the, the Kaijaro. That's allowed to have two equipments. I'd go for it. Oh my god, there's a speed printer? Holy shit. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay. All right, I need to uh, to bung up, I think. So there's not a scrapper here, and that's unfortunate, because I really like having the energy drinks. So maybe I hold off? Might go through? No. Uh, what the fuck? Dude, dude. That's bullshit. That is bullshit. You can't do that. You can't do that. That's a, that's a Richard Nixon right there. That's a classic tricky dick. Oh, there. How? How? How is that allowed? You, you just can't do that. Like, I don't know what else to say. You, you just can't. Oh, great. I love, I love that. More Dune Striders. This should be decently easy, though. Stop. Dude. Dude. They're insane. How are they hitting me? I think it's so funny that there's, like, all these fucking alien creatures in this game, and then there's just bison. It's like a normal-ass bison. Oh my god. Dude, no! No! You need to go. You need to die. You need to fucking die right now. Oh my god. He was at, like, 100 health. Ow. Ow. Okay. 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 I'm out. I'm out. I'm leaving. You can heal. I don't care. I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. Dude, that's so frustrating. Now he's at full health. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, he moved right as I fucking did that. He's gonna heal up again, isn't he? Yep. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That kill? Please let that kill. Thank you. What if I... grab this? Do something like that. Then I come down here. Ah ha ha! Yes! Okay, now I repeat that. That was good. That got me like 25%. So if I do that one more time, I should be good. Does leeching seed work with acrid poison? It does not. Easy. I am gonna hold on to the capacitor though. Acrid is pitbull. I love pitbull, dude. Mr. Worldwide? Surely that's what you're talking about. Do you love a fellow bald man? I'm not bald. I have a beautiful head of hair. And even, even, even if I was, I'm like 90 friggin' years old. Ooh, I can't take that. I'm like 90 friggin' years old. It, it wouldn't even be a big deal. But I'm not bald. I'm not bald. Prove it? Well, I just don't want to... I don't want to show my head because I have lice. And I'm embarrassed about it. But, but I definitely have hair. If I didn't have hair, I wouldn't have lice. So, if you're bald, you can get a sponsorship from Keeps. Just admit you're bald and make money. Do you think I'm going to sell out? to make money and claim I'm bald and be dishonest. My integrity is worth way more than fucking keeps. Oh, I hear a scav. Will this kill? Probably not, but it's damn good. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, once I kill him though, it'll be worth. Ah, he has PSG. Ooh. Good crit. Good crit.
Make sure I keep the, the poison on him. Beautiful. Don't revive. Very well done. Has there a scav on stage four? It can spawn on this map. Like, if you get here past, like, I think it's like 34 minutes, somewhere around there, scavs can spawn. It's interesting. They can't spawn on Sky Meadows unless you go to Void Fields. It's very interesting. They, they can spawn on this map. Ooh, crit. I kind of do want that, but... I need the Scrapper. There is a Scrapper. Nice. Yeah, that'll really help me, actually. I wonder how much the big chest is. Probably a lot. Hmm. Not really a fan of that. But I am a fan of doing this. Ah, uh, I was hoping that would crit. Oh, you know it's copium. You kill a gup and nothing happens. It's because um, the mob cap has been reached, so they can't spawn more enemies on the map. Steak. I don't have that much time. Fuel cell would be nice. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I won't waste this one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god, more mac and cheese? Don't mind if I do. Uh, oh my god, really? That's what you're gonna do to me? We can kill him pretty easily, I think, but... Gosh. That's annoying. That did not kill him. I was wrong. I think he stepped out of it. God damn it. I was hoping that would stun him, but I think he's still spawning in. What? Oh shit. Ugh. Didn't see that mushroom. Oh my god, okay. I didn't even realize I had an elixir, but I'm grateful for it. Nice. Doing better than Bandit. True, but I've also had a much better run. When I was playing Bandit, I had no speed. And I didn't really have any damage options. Um, I mean, there are adaptive chests, but I'm not going to be able to use them. So. Oh my god. Fuck the larva. I hate him. I fucking hate him. I shouldn't have dashed into him, though. That was my fault. Ah! God. Ugh. Um, what else am I getting rid of? Stun. Okay. One more stage, and we're home free. We still have Mithrix, but... I don't think Mithrix is gonna be much of a challenge. What do we got here? Drank? Oh my god, yeah. I could definitely use a fuel cell. At this point, it's probably the best thing I could find. Oh god, I forgot about Lemurians. I actually removed Lemurians from Grove with the DLC. That's a lot of money. Mithrix would have a lot more heat. Mithrix is gonna have some health. Why'd I do that? I mean, maybe I can get a charge perforator. Ow. How did that not perma damage me? Opals are good, I guess. Hell yeah. Uh, okay. I can't buy that. Not yet. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I don't, I don't, I don't heckin' care anymore. Mending Grandpa. Oh, you know what? I have something very special for you guys today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is what it's like in the Denver airport. Welcome to Denver. Hey. Would have been nice. If I if I kept him alive, I could have um got him to do his like Goku attack and kill all of the enemies on the map. But it's like when you hallucinate on lean. Is lean a, a psychedelic? That's why all the, <laughs> the rappers do it. So they so they can see Grandpa Heinz like here. They're very close with him. 
They love Grandpa Hindslicker. Biggest secret in the industry. The Hindslicker effect. I hate it when they get stuck in the, the teleporter. It's horrible. It's horrible. All I need to do is play this really slow, and I'm fine. Oh my god, gra Grandpa! Now let's see if I can maybe keep him alive. Yeah! Nice. Do you think Akrid enjoys poisoning innocent mo monsters, or does he do it out of necessity? They're not heckin' innocent. They suck their neighbors. Have you have you not been paying attention? They suck their neighbors. Th that's a bad apple in my book. I don't care what anybody tells you. There we go. Thought for a second that I was gonna hope you me. Don't forget void cradles. Thank you. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, uh, I mean, that is good, I guess. Ugh. I don't like that, but I guess we'll take it. What will it be? Uh, Razor Wire. Alright, I feel pretty comfortable. It's Richard Nixon, it's no laughing matter. It is pretty funny, though. He's, he's a funny guy. He was famously in Bedtime for Bonds. So no, that was Reagan, never mind. He's, it's not laughing matter. He was not in bedtime for Bonzo. I was wrong. Jimmy Carter came in and was like, I don't think uh, Bonzo should go to bed. And then Reagan came in and was like, it's bedtime for Bonzo, baby. I get two turns, you get one. That's how it happened. Ooh. I like Behemoth, but... Okay. I guess I'll take Behemoth. I mean, sure, whatever. For the memes, we'll take a benthic. It's not gonna do anything, but... Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay. Holy shit. That was scary. Overloading. Oh, fuck. It's fine. I can't get hit by him though. Wish I had a Chrono Bobble. That'd make it a lot easier to hit my shots. Poison's doing work though. Huh. Nice. Okay, this is gonna be a, a tough phase. The strat here is I just need to, like, stay on the outside of the arena, and, uh... Are these overload? They're overloading. I need to use my capacitors to take these guys out. Ow. You had that not hit anything. Oh god. Oh god. Holy shit, that was terrifying. But we're good. I almost died to fall damage there. Don't break my opal, please. I can skip phase four. I just need to, uh, hold on for a minute here. Need to wait, jump to the center. And we're good. Easy. Holy, good shit. 
Phase 4 would have been easy anyway. I would have just had to keep poisoning him. Holy shit, it only took me two Dios. That wasn't a real win. I think it, if you had to get lucky and find two Dios, it doesn't count, but... I mean, it's still a, it's still a win. Still a win. Still would have won without them. Probably not, but... I mean, they were... Avoidable deaths. <laughs> God damn. Let's uh, let's be careful here. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I almost fucking threw it at the very end. Can you imagine? I would have been so upset. <laughs>